So we're here to answer that question, what is a risk protection order? Well, basically the sheriff is asking a judge to order that your firearms and ammo be taken away from you, confiscated, because law enforcement believes you're a danger to yourself or to somebody else. And this whole risk protection order process begins with someone telling the police that they think you're a danger to yourself or others. Now for you history buffs out there, this law was prompted by that tragedy at Stoneman Douglas High School, that shooting in Parkland, Florida in 2018. This is the law that resulted. Now what happens on a risk protection order first is the police are gonna investigate what they've been told about you. And if they do believe, have evidence that you are a significant or immediate danger to yourself or others, they're gonna ask the judge for an order to take your firearms and ammo and, and they're gonna take this stuff before you've even had a chance to explain your side of the story. However, eventually when they do this though, they have to set you for a formal hearing in front of a judge within 14 days. And that judge is gonna determine whether they get to keep your stuff for up to a year. Now the sheriff is gonna have a, the burden on this approving by clear and convincing evidence that you do pose a significant danger to yourself or somebody else by having these firearms. That's their burden. Now this risk protection order is not only gonna take your guns away if, if the sheriff wins, they get to keep them for a year, but also if you have a concealed weapons permit or anything like that, they're gonna take those permits away from you too. And this all of this lasts up to one year, but remember the police can go back to the judge and ask for more time at the end of the year, but you also get to fight that and say, no, I'm rehabbed and you don't need to keep them any longer. My experience is these things are tough for law enforcement to prove because the police are always relying on what they've been told about you rather than firsthand evidence. And then the second reason it's tough is because we attorneys make it tough on them. So if you've been served with a risk protection order, RPO for short, get yourself you know, a good local defense attorney who's actually handled these sort of hearings before I've handled them, other attorneys have handled them. If yours happen in Orange, Seminole, or Osceola County, feel free to give our office a call. Let's see if we can help you out with this. I thank you for watching and take care. Thanks.